Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to use DocHub to edit and annotate uh, PDF files that are attached to your Google Classroom as an assignment. So the first step, and this is a one-time only step, you only have to do this once, no matter how many classes you use this in. You do have to log in to DocHub first and allow it permissions to open and edit files from your Google Drive. So I'm at the DocHub website and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Google Login and that's going to sign me in to DocHub. Once I've logged into DocHub, it's a one-time only thing. Uh, it's going to then take you to uh, your permissions page. The permissions it's going to ask for, it wants to know your name and your basic profile information so it knows who you are so it can log you in. It also needs permission to view and manage files in your Google Drive, and it's also going to add itself to Google Drive so you can open files with this later. So when this pops up, we want to click Allow. And after a few seconds, it's going to open DocHub. Now, once you've done this once, you don't have to keep this window open, so you can go ahead and close that. If you've done that step in another class, you don't need to do it again. Okay, so here we are now in my Google Classroom. I'm in Mr. Herbert's classroom as a student, and he has added this worksheet to assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and open the assignment, and I'm going to click on this document, which is a PDF, to open it up. Now, it opens in the Google Classroom preview. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to open it in the Google Drive preview. So in the upper right-hand corner, there's the three dots and says More Actions there. It's pretty much the same as any Google app. I'm going to click Open in New Window, and what that's going to do is it's going to open this document in the Google Drive Preview app. So Google Drive is now previewing it. The difference is that when I open with Google Drive Preview, I have this button that says Open With. So in that first step, when we attached DocHub to our Google Drive and we said to allow it in our Google Drive, that's what it did. That's why it shows up here. You'll see I've got a couple of other apps also assigned here. But I'm going to go ahead and open this with DocHub. And in just a few seconds, it'll open up in DocHub. Now, let me show you around in DocHub. So there's a couple of menu items. DocHub is what's called a freemium application. There are free portions of this application that we're going to use. There are also some paid versions and some paid features in here that we can use. We're not using any of the paid features. Everything that we need to do, we can do with the free version, and the free version of DocHub is unlimited. So the first button up here is the page controls. I can see uh, what page I'm on. There are multiple pages in this document. I can click on page two and jump to page two. If you have a longer document that you're annotating for a class, uh, you can get to any page directly just by clicking on it. I can turn that, click that again, and that'll turn on and off. I can zoom in and out to the document. Uh, this next button here, which is the Fields button, that one is one of the freemium features. Uh, we're not going to use anything under the Manage Fields uh, button. You can obviously print, you can undo, you can redo, um, and these are where most of the tools are right here. So the first tool is the pointer tool, so that always gets you back to where you can select and move uh, items and annotations that you've added to your document. First thing I'm going to do is select on uh, the text tool here, and that's going to allow me to put my name in on the document. And as I click that, you'll notice um, my cursor is moving around, and I have this little orange text box that's following it. When I click, it places that, and I can start typing. If I move my cursor, you'll notice that I get that text box again, right? So I'm not trying to click again. I've clicked once, I've placed a text box, and now I can type my name or type whatever I need to there. Once I've added an annotation, if I select back to the pointer tool, as I point at it, you'll see I get a, a, a header bar there. I can click on that. I can move that around to wherever I want in my document. It does align things with other items and objects that are in your document, so you can help to make it look a little bit neater. Every text, every box, annotation box, also has this little white handle over here, so you can resize that text box. And if I wanted to delete this, I can just highlight it and click the X, and then that will go away. 
The next tool is the drawing tool or the pen tool. If I select that, um, I do have a couple of options here. So first off is a freeform pen tool so I can just kind of scribble on my document. It's kind of hard with a mouse, but if you have a touch sensitive device, you can use your finger and use or use a, a stylus and you have a lot more control over that. You'll notice that the rectangle, the circle, and the line all have a padlock beside them. That means those are part of the freemium features, the premium features that we're not using. Uh, so the only thing we have available under this pen tool is to create uh, annotations like that. Next up is the highlight tool. Under the highlight tool I have two options here. I have the first one is the highlight text tool. The second one is the highlight box. So the difference between these tools is this and it really depends on how the PDF you're annotating was created. If your PDF was created using an application like Google Drive, uh, Google Docs, or Microsoft Word, then you, there's a pretty good chance that the text is going to be seen as embedded text. So with the embedded text, um, you can use this highlight text tool. When I highlight something here, because this document that I'm working on was actually created by scanning it, the document scan. So really what I'm looking at here is an image in my PDF document. So I can't use the annotate text tool there or the highlight text tool. But what I can use is the highlight box. Uh, it only gives me one color. I can only highlight in yellow. You notice all the other colors are, are locked. Those are premium features. So we only have a yellow highlighter but I can highlight by just clicking and dragging. And I can highlight anywhere in my document, so it creates a box that's got that highlight color in it. Again, if I decide I want to delete that, I can just click on the, box, the X in the corner and delete those things. Next up is the comment tool. So the comment tool allows you to add comments to your doc in DocHub. You can share documents through DocHub just like you would share a document through your Google Drive. Other people that are using DocHub can click on the comments tool and see what comments you've added. However, what we're going to do at the end here today is we're going to actually export this as a flattened PDF and export it back to our Google Drive so we can turn it into our classroom. So the comment tool doesn't do anything for us other than add an image that there's a little text tool there's a comment there. We can't actually edit it in the PDF. You can only edit it in DocHub. So we're not going to use that tool today. The next image, the next button here is for the whiteout tool. So the whiteout tool allows you, say you've scanned a document on a copier and it has some annotations, something already written on it. You can actually use the whiteout tool. It works kind of like the, the highlight tool except it's white. And when I do that, it will white out whatever's on the on the page there so I can take out parts that I don't want. Next is the stamp tool. So the stamp tool allows you to quickly and easily add uh, some of these stamps. I'm going to add some checks into my document. Now as I start doing this you notice that's a little too big for what I want but I can come back up here to the stamp size resize that. I can change the fill color. Right now it's a blue check with a black outline, but I can change those colors with the fill color and the stroke. And I can just go down here and click, click, click. And maybe I want to click down here, but uh, I might need a bigger box there. So I can click and then using that handle in the bottom right hand corner, I can resize that check box. There are some other stamps that you can use. The ones that are visible here are the free versions. If you go into Customize, there are a lot of different versions of stamps in there, but you do have to pay for the premium version in order to have access to those. The next tool up is the Insert Image button. Now, the Insert Image button is going to open your the computer's hard drive storage wherever you are. I'm on a laptop right now, so this is going to actually open uh, my document here into um, 
my Windows file system. If you're on a Google Chrome device, though, when you uh, like a Chromebook, when you click on the insert image tool, the image is going to open up and it's going to look for images on your Google Drive. That's the file system for the Chromebook. So uh, the big thing here is that if you're going to insert an image, you have to insert an image that you already have. You can't insert an image that's brand new. So I inserted this. It's a little big. I might need to zoom out and then I can select it and I can resize my image so I can put it wherever I want on my screen. And then when I zoom back in, it'll look right. So I can insert any image, but you do have to already have your image downloaded. It's not like um, some of the other docs in Google Docs. You can right click and copy an image and then just go paste them in, but that does not work from here. The last step here, the sign button, uh, the sign tool uh, is again one of the premium features that we're not using, so don't worry about that one. But once you've annotated and marked up your graphic organizer or your document, your PDF document here, um, what you're going to want to do then is click on the file button over here and we're going to go to download and we're going to click save to G drive and what that's going to do is it's going to save this PDF. It's going to take your annotations and flatten those and kind of make them a part of your PDF so they're going to be permanently added to your PDF file. It's saving this back to your Google Drive. Um, I don't need to open this right now because I opened this from my Google Classroom. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here into my Google Classroom and then I'm just going to click on Turn In. Now once I've done that, it's going to turn my PDF in. If you want to check and see what your annotations are, you might need to refresh this page and then it will pull up the correct version. So I'm going to refresh that real quickly. And then when I open the document, this is my copy of the document, I now will see all of those annotations that I made in my document do show up here. If you decide later you want to go back and you need to re-edit your document, the best thing to do is to click unsubmit. While your document is in submitted mode, you won't be able to edit it again, but you can click on it there. I can click on, uh, I can go back to my doc hub, but if I'm still here in my PDF, I can open it one more time um, and follow the same process. So it's going to preview in Google Classroom. I'm going to open it to preview in Google Drive, and then I will open with Doc Hub. Now, the second time I open this in Doc Hub, you're going to notice something about it is that Doc Hub knows it's already edited this document, so it's going to come up and it's going to ask you if you want to open a new version or if it's going to if I want to open the existing version. If I create a duplicate, all of the annotations that I've already put into the PDF file are now going to show up as um, flattened, so they're part of the PDF, so I can't edit those again. But if I click Open Existing, Doc Hub opens its existing version of this. So now when I go in, if I want to remove something or move stuff around, I can remove and move stuff around. And then when I go back to File, Save to G Drive, it's saving it back to Google Drive. And then I can go back into my Google Classroom, turn in again, and when it turns in, it's now submitting my updated version. Again, uh, if you notice there, it's hard to see, but if I preview, if I refresh the screen, uh, it'll update to my newest copy of my document. When I open it in the preview mode, you'll see that annotation that I took out is gone. So that's how to open, edit, and save documents from your Google Classroom, open and edit in DocHub, save them back to your Google Drive, and then turn them in one quick, easy, painless, easy step.